In this tutorial, I will show you how to upgrade WHMCS. It is wise to upgrade WHMCS as new versions are launched to take advantage of new features and functionality. As with all software, old versions will eventually become insecure as technology and security evolve over time. So it is vital to keep WHMCS up to date to ensure your website is protected. To begin, log into WHMCS and visit the Update WHMCS page from within the Utilities menu. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the Check Now button to force WHMCS to search for the latest version. If there is an update available, it will be listed here along with your current version. If you are certain that you are using an old version but it is not displaying as an available update, this generally means that your hosting environment does not support the new WHMCS version. For example, if you're using an old version of PHP. Refer to the WHMCS website to check the system requirements for the new version and update your hosting account to meet these new requirements. You should then see the available update after clicking the Check Now button. The first time you update WHMCS, you must first set a directory path that will then be used to temporarily store files during the update process. Let's go ahead and create a directory for this. Go to cPanel's file manager and access the secure home directory. Create a new directory. In this example, we will go with WHMCS underscore update. Head back to the Update WHMCS page and click on the Configure Update settings in the top right. The Update channel sets the type of updates you wish to receive. In most cases, you will want to select the Stable option. Add the full path of the directory we just created. The start of your path will be found within the left column of File Manager, and the end will be the directory we just created. Now our path is set, you will not need to complete this again in future. We can now proceed to the update itself, but before we do it is vital to create a full backup of WHMCS. The backup should include both the files and database. In the event that the update fails, the backup can be used to restore your website to its previous state. If your update does fail, I recommend submitting a ticket to WHMCS. They will be able to assist you. They may even be able to fix your update without needing the backup, but it is vital that you have it. I have added a link in the description to our full WHMCS backup tutorial. Once you have a backup of WHMCS stored in a safe place, click on the Update Now button. Follow the prompts to complete the update process. It can take anywhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes depending on the size of your WHMCS install. You will see a success confirmation once completed. A few things to keep in mind. If you are using a custom template, in many cases it will need to be updated to support the new version. At Zomex, we provide a selection of premium templates for WHMCS that are always kept up to date. We also provide easy to follow guides showing you exactly how to update your template for each new version of WHMCS. If you are using any third party modules, they may also need to be updated for support with the new version. Contact the developer of each of these modules you may be using to confirm. This update feature of WHMCS has some minimum requirements. You may be prompted to change your PHP settings before the update will run. This video is brought to you by Zomex. At Zomex we have been providing premium WHMCS themes and configuration services since 2009. You can view our full range of themes and services in the description below. Save 10% on your next order using the coupon code YouTube. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to ensure that you are notified of new videos.